Students, this is the sixth class of anti-malarial agents. Already we have seen five classes for anti-malarials, and in the five classes we have seen uh, drugs coming under cinchona alkaloids. 4 aminoquinolones, 8 aminoquinolones and 9 amino acridins. and in this class we are going to see biguanides and uh, um, pyrimethamine and atovacone. We will see one by one. The next drug is called proguanol that is otherwise called as chloroguanide. So this would be the structure for uh, proguanol. So what is that? It is having uh, chlorophenyl that is uh, chlorobenzene and with the benzene what is attached to NH, C double bond NH, NH. C double bond NH, NH, CH, CH3 twice. So, that is the structure of proguanyl. What is meant by guanidin? It is having NH2, C double bond NH, NH2. So, this is one guanidin and this is one guanidin. So, it is having two guanidin groups. That is why it is coming under a biguanide. So, the examples for biguanide would be one is proguanyl, another one would be cycloguanyl. So, it is having two guanidin groups. So, what is meant by guanidin? NH2, C double bond NH, NH2. So, it is having two guanidins, this is one and and uh, this is one. So, it is having two guanidin groups and the numbering starts from here, this is one, two, three, four, five. So, what is the um, parent for this one? That would be biguanide. So, in the biguanide, the first nitrogen node that is having parachlorophenyl and uh, the fifth nitrogen node that is having isopropyl. So, the chemical name would be 1 parachlorophenyl 5 isopropyl biguanide. So, that is the chemical name for proguanyl. Proguanyl is a biguanide and actually it is a prodrug. So, it is metabolized by means of cytochrome 2C19 to an active one that is called as cycloguanyl. Proguanyl is a folic acid antagonist and this is cycloguanyl no that one inhibits dihydrofolate reductase enzyme so because of inhibiting that it interferes with the deoxythymidylate synthesis and this proguanyl is usually combined with atovacone the next drug is cycloguanyl it is also coming under uh, biguanide so what is meant by biguanide that is having two guanidin groups what is that um, that is nh2 c double bond nh nh2 NH2, C double bond NH, NH2. So, it is having two guanidin groups. Because of the presence of these two guanidin, it can be called as a biguanide. And this cycloguanyl, no, it is also coming under triazine. So, what is meant by triazine? It is ending with INE. So, it should be, it may be a six membered ring. So, six member triaza. So, it is having three nitrogens. One, Mm, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 nitrogens with a 6 membered heterocyclic ring node that can be called as triazine. But here, this triazine node that can be S triazine. Why it is called S triazine? Because S node that indicates symmetrical, symmetrical triazine, otherwise called 1, 3, 5 triazine. So, it is having a triazine nucleus. So, here for the chemical name, here we have chosen S triazine as the parent. In the S triazine, in the first portion, what is attached? Parachlorophenyl is attached, and in the second portion, having two methyl groups, and the fourth and the sixth, it is having two amino groups. In the case of triazine, the ring node that is having three bonds inside, but here look at the structure, one bond is left between one and two. Already we have known for a bond, we have to add two hydrogens. Here how many bonds left? Only one bond is left that is between one and two. So, we have to add two hydrogens that is called dihydro, that is why it is called 1,2-dihydro S triazine. So, the chemical name would be for, for, according to alphabetical order, it is 4, 6 diamino 1 parachlorophenyl 1, 2 dihydro 2, 2 dimethyl S triazine. Instead of writing S triazine, we can write 1, 3, 5 triazine. So, that is the chemical name of cycloguanyl. Next is cycloguanyl. It is also coming under biguanide and it is having a triazine nucleus. Already we have known it is an active metabolite of proguanyl. The next drug is called pyrimethamine. From the name itself we can say it is having a pyrim that is called pyrimidine nucleus, eth, so ethyl group and amine. So it is having three parts, one is a pyrimidine, another one is ethyl and another one is amine. So look at the structure, so it is having a pyrimidine nucleus and in the case of pyrimidine, second and fourth portion no, these two are connected with uh, amino group and fifth portion no, that is connected with the chlorophenyl and the sixth one is having ethyl. So what is meant by pyrimidine? Six membered heterocyclic ring having two nitrogens at 1, 3 that can be called as pyrimidine and second and fourth are having amino, so diamino, 2, 4 diamino 
and in the fifth one parafluorophenyl and in sixth one ethyl so the chemical name would be 2,4 diamino 5 parachlorophenyl 6 ethyl pyrimidine so that is the chemical name of pyrimethamin pyrimethamin it is a potent inhibitor of dihydrofolate reductase actually it acts as a blood schizonticide and it is usually given in combination with the sulfodoxin this combination you know, that is used with the quinine for the treatment and the prevention of chloroquine resistant malaria the next drug is called atovacone this would be the structure for atovacone so what is that it is having uh, this is called as the fusion of these two rings you know, that can be called as naphthalquinone or naphthalene dione where the two ketones are present one at first another at fourth that is why it is called 1,4 naphthalene dione in that uh, the second portion no so that is connected with the cyclohexyl group and the fourth portion of cyclohexyl is connected with the phenyl and the fourth portion of phenyl is connected with the chlorine so the, this the whole thing no so that would be attached in the second portion of this uh, naphthalene dione okay in the case of a cyclohexyl it is having two hydrogens one at uh, first portion another at fourth portion the hydrogen present in first portion no that is having alpha configuration and the hydrogen present in fourth portion no that is having beta configuration so both are different that is why it is cis uh, sorry trans if it is uh, similar means it can be cis but it is um, uh, these two are different that is why it is trans that is why we are getting this word trans as a prefix and in the second only the cyclohexyl is attached and in the fourth portion of cyclo cyclohexyl it is having phenyl and the fourth portion of phenyl is ha having chlorine that is why 2 open bracket in that 4 again open bracket again 4 chloro so 4 chlorophenyl close bracket this is cyclohexyl and 3 hydroxy 1 comma 4 1 4 naphthalene dione so that is the chemical name of atovacuin atovacuin why is why it is getting the prefix trans because in the case of cyclohexyl it is having two hydrogens one at uh, first portion another at fourth portion this is having alpha configuration this is having beta configuration it is not same that is why trans if both are same it would be cis that is why it is getting the prefix as trans so that is the chemical name of atovacone Atovacone is a selective inhibitor of plasmodium's mitochondrial electron transport system. Actually, it is developed as an anti-malarial because of high failure rate, it is not given a single entity. But it is used in the treatment of pneumocytosis. It is usually given in combination with the proguanil. This atovacone is active within the mitochondrial plasmodium, whereas the proguanil no, that is active in the cytosol.